All About Asia invites you to learn about the multifaceted charm of exotic Asia and marvel at its mysterious natural landscapes. Asia, a hidden treasure that can be described in myriad ways. We invite you to sample its taste and mystery right now. About one third of a year is public holidays. How do you spend them? How about escaping from the hustle and bustle of a city in search of fun? If you're willing to join us, we're going to take you to some very exciting places in Asia. So let's get going. Seeing all these golden palaces around, you finally realize that you're in Thailand. As you know, 95% of the Thai population is Buddhist. Thailand is the only nation in Southeast Asia that was not colonized by European countries. That's why there's much to see and try here. We invite you to the most exciting of them right now. What are these people doing on the street? They look too old for praying with water. What are you doing splashing water on seniors? Huh? But they don't seem to mind. I have no idea what's going on. The Songkran Festival is held in mid-April. It's the largest festival in Thailand and also a public holiday. People flock to the street. They look bizarre. Their faces are covered with white powder and they all smile. They play jokes on us. Do we have to smile back? But what's that thing on your face? Bang, bang. Lion powder is applied to the face to pray for good luck. This person is wearing luck on his face. Suddenly, someone begins firing a gun at people. Thank goodness, it's a water gun. It's funny to see adults playing with water guns. Having fun, man. Happy New Year. That's what it takes to obtain good luck. Some people even fire water cannons. Isn't it amazing that you should be grateful if a total stranger splashes water on you? All right. To enjoy this festival, we need to learn more about it. Even to foreigners, Songkran Day is an exciting day. Some even visit Thailand in time for the Songkran Festival. This public holiday has become a good way to reap profits from foreigners. Thailand is unique because many public holidays are associated with its king. It's a country where public holidays lure tourists from all over the world and offer them plenty of fun. Sanito Square of Macau is always packed with people on holidays. Macau was ruled by Portugal for 442 years starting from 1557 before it was returned to China in 1999. St. Paul's Cathedral, St. Dominique Church, numerous structures from the colonial period still remind of its history. The square is surrounded by European-style buildings. It features various fountains, benches and cafes. That's why it's very popular among locals and tourists who come here to relax and meet with people. How do Macau residents spend holidays? Shopping and sightseeing and um, uh, we'll usually go to China and um, sometimes Hong Kong. What's going on? The quiet street suddenly becomes noisy. It's the Drunken Dragon Festival, which begins with the sound of the drum. Fishing is the main industry in this area. This festival originated from prayers for the safety of fishermen. The procession moves to an exciting rhythm. The restrained sound of the drum creates a tense atmosphere. Participants drink liquor 
and hold a dance competition. What is it all about? Tell us more about the festival. In Macau, the dragon and water are regarded to be sacred. Liquor is sprinkled at people to chase away bad luck. Food is an indispensable element of any festival. Make sure to try this dish, even if you have to stand in a long line to receive it. It's called Kanganban. It represents health and safety. It's made with vegetables and excludes meat, onion, and fragrant herbs. You're asking if it's free of charge? Who wants to give luck for free? You can receive it if you donate 100 Hong Kong dollars. Each person gets three coupons. Wow, that's a lot. In addition to traditional events, there are many religious events in Macau. These people in Koloan, sitting in small groups, have gathered here to mark the 50th anniversary of a Buddhist charity group. They are its members and they have brought their families as well. Organized by the members on a voluntary basis, this event exudes energy. Parents and children stage a performance. They don't look tired at all. They're happy to spend time with their loved ones. And in the end, it's all for great fun. The audience also looks excited. Because it's hard to spend time with their loved ones on weekdays, families get together on holidays to catch up and create special memories. So, how are you enjoying yourself? Macau tries hard to preserve its traditions and hand them down to future generations. It's an exciting place thanks to diverse festivals during which people pray for the well-being and happiness of their loved ones. Harajuku is one of the most popular areas in Tokyo along with Shibuya and Shinjuku. It became famous because of crowds of young people who come here on weekends. Here's the reason Harajuku is regarded to be a fashion mecca and a street of youth. On Sundays, it's even more crowded because of foreigners. Public holidays in Japan are very unique. By the way, Christmas is not a public holiday, whereas the Emperor's birthday is. Let's find out more about how Japanese spend public holidays. This park in downtown Tokyo is crowded with families and people come here alone. <laughs> like in any park, there are people here who come to exercise. That person keeps kicking something. That's a funny exercise. What is it? Then, what do public holidays mean to these enthusiastic sportsmen? This time, we're heading to the seaside. A whole bunch of yachts has gathered in waters off Shinkiba. 
They look especially vibrant today. The third Monday of July is Ocean Day in Japan. Its purpose is to remind Japanese citizens about the importance of the ocean to this insular nation and improve their understanding about it. Until its designation in 1996, there were no public holidays in July. That's why it was very welcomed by citizens. Another good thing about public holidays in Japan is that when they fall on a Sunday, people don't have to work on Monday. That's some great news for working people. If you happen to visit Japan in July or August, make sure to have fun at night. That's when a special event is held, luring scores of people. Here's what it is. It's the Hanabi Festival, which is held from late June until early September. This fireworks festival features diverse events, offering visitors lots of fun. Japanese are known to work hard on weekdays. Thanks to public holidays, they can recharge their energy and keep doing their work. This has been Japan. This is Dhaka, the capital city of Bangladesh. Scores of people have gathered here. The city looks unusual today. The line keeps growing. Even police troops were dispatched here to keep order. What is this place? The place that the people finally enter after a long wait is none other than a park. But it's not an amusement park. It's just an ordinary park with a couple of swings and slides. Why have so many people come here today? Holiday food is essential on the Lunar New Year. People sit in circles and share food. They look very happy. This special New Year snack is quite simple. It's popped rice. The population of Bangladesh reaches 150 million people. It's the most populous country in the world, excluding city-states and island states. Ironically enough, polls by international organizations show that Bangladeshi are the happiest people in the world. Drivers of rickshaws and people on the street all look happy. Is that because they know how to be content even with small things? Many children in Bangladesh have to work to make a living but not on New Year's Day. What are these children doing? Ah, it's face painting. A child waits patiently with his eyes wide open. It's the moment when there's nothing else he can ask for. <laughs> It's an exciting experience that's only possible on public holidays. Adults also receive face painting. In Bangladesh, public holidays offer respite from the hardships of life. Suddenly, people walk somewhere in a hurry. What's the rush? Watch your step, you might get hurt. They take spots on trees or climb somewhere high and wait. What are they waiting for so eagerly? Ah, it must be a concert. There's a stage over there. It's a small concert staged by amateur artists, but the audience is eager to see them. 
They're as popular as Michael Jackson. These people will never forget this New Year Day. Though people here are poor, they're rich spiritually. They're just happy to be able to relax and have fun to their heart's content. This has been Bangladesh. Indonesia is home to the world's largest Muslim population. About 200 million of its 230 million people are Muslims. Nonetheless, the ascension of Christ was designated as a public holiday for the nation's 8% Christian population. That's because Indonesia believes in the freedom of religion. Late in the evening, we visit a house in Yogyakarta. Is today a special day? The house is full of people who seem to be Muslims. It looks like a religious meeting. Maybe the owner can explain what's going on. We celebrate uh, for seven months pregnant uh, for my children. Uh, in the Islam or Muslim in Java, we usually uh, celebrate for seven months the pregnancy. Congratulations! It would be good to hear a song at such a joyful event. The guests, who have traveled long distances, enjoy themselves and have fun together. It's a very meaningful day indeed. A village in Bali is busy since early morning preparing for something. Judging by what its residents wear, it's probably going to be a big festival. But it turned out to be a funeral for one of the villagers. All townspeople have postponed their business to prepare for the funeral. Indonesians are always relaxed and attach much importance to relations with other people. This gorgeous funeral beer gives the impression that it's going to be a big street festival. Wait a minute. What happens if there's a shortage of labor because of so many public holidays? But there's no need to worry. In Indonesia, public holidays represent the country's religious diversity and importance of leisure. This has been Indonesia. The Philippines is located at the southeast of the Asian continent in the West Pacific and consists of more than 7,000 islands. People here live in close touch with nature. They look exhausted, yet relaxed. Filipinos, who are known for their hard-working nature, know how to relax and have fun on holidays. They use their scenic natural environment to enjoy water sports and trekking, and make the best out of their free time. Nature is not the only thing that Filipinos use for relaxation. About 83% of the Philippines population is Catholic because it's a former colony of Spain, where 99% of their population is Catholic. Lent is a 40-day period during which Christ's sufferings and resurrection are commemorated. After Lent, Filipinos hold week-long festivities to celebrate. The first festivity is called Muriones, there are models of Roman soldiers everywhere. Is this festival for them? Okay, we call this Moriones Festival of uh, Mogpog Marinduque. This is started as early as 1884, when the first parish priest of this municipality, Reverend Father 
Dionysius and Chago. All of the Philippines and all over the world, this is a holiday because this is the Feast of the Resurrection. This is the essence of the Catholic Church. According to a legend, as soon as Longinus pierced Christ's heart, his blind eyes regained vision when Christ's blood flowing from the heart fell into them. After that, Longinus was converted to Christianity but was executed by the Romans. In a way, this festival also marks the death of Longinus. On this day, people don the uniforms of Roman soldiers that they make firsthand and wear masks. They look like real Roman soldiers. People stand in a line to watch the procession. Where there are performances, there are always crowds of people. People do their best to prepare for the festival. They make uniforms firsthand and polish their dancing skills. Wow, they must have prepared for this a long time. It's hard to believe that they're just ordinary citizens. Everyone puts in the time to enjoy the festival together. Mapuganius uh, prepared for um, a month, especially for those who are participating or for our Mariones. They are uh, uh, preparing their suit, their costumes for this celebration. The square is packed with onlookers who come to see the special event. A performance reenacting the legend of Longinus is staged. The festival becomes more exciting with music playing and people dancing. It's so exciting that you even forget about the scorching heat. Finally, the highlight of the Morions Festival, a scene reenacting Longinus's execution. If you have a weak heart or if you're sick or pregnant, close your eyes for a moment. The Roman soldiers take Longinus's head and leave. The performance ends, marking the death of Longinus. What do religious holidays mean to Filipinos? We are conducting, or we are having the Lenten season, we are celebrating Lenten season, not just to invite visitors, not just to enjoy the long vacation, but to uh, feel the goodness of God. So many people, so many tourists are coming here to visit this. This is a unique, unique uh, festival, but related to the religious belief of the people here. This has been the Philippines, where people work hard and celebrate holidays with utmost passion. They're devout Christians who also know how to hold festivals in the most exciting way. Through diverse festivals, we have witnessed the most exciting moments in the lives of Asians. Asia is where public holidays are fun and where you can regain your sentimentality and passion and find sweet respite after hard work. We invite you to Asia.